I feel like, you know, when you look at pathogens on a whole, you have a lot of people focusing, of course, right now on viruses. That's the big one. Uh, but bacteria, as you just mentioned, Lyme Borrelia is a, a bacteria infection. And then your mold, of course, you know that because so many people live in moldy areas and have mold toxicity now. It's, it's a big issue. Parasites get overlooked. And the truth of the matter is you could take stool samples and test them and you could miss them. You could absolutely miss them. It isn't a foolproof type of test at all. And a lot of people have them. Like you said, in Lyme, it's co-infectious disease always. Always you're going to have extra friends around Borrelia. And a lot of the times you're right, Giardia and other parasites show up there if you really know what you're looking for and you're a trained practitioner as well. Now, you mentioned you're going to have GI symptoms most likely. And those GI system symptoms may lead into things like brain fog and other. But I found it interesting, to that you linked it also to the skin. Can you go in a little bit more about how parasites really do impact our skin and our look aesthetics and our aging process? Absolutely. Well, when I first started to clear parasites, and let's be totally transparent, it took me from about March last year to December last year. Mm -hmm. That's how long it took. And granted, I'm an outdoor enthusiast. Yes, I was drinking a fresh mountain waterfall water, doing my cold plunges, all of that. So as I know where it was coming from. It's being an outdoor enthusiast. So, <laughs> you know, comes with the territory, no pun intended. One of my clients was a doctor herself, and she sought a one-on-one -on -one session with me to talk about skin and rejuvenation and discuss the different rejuvenation options for at home and in clinic. And she told me that she was working in a hospital setting and she had someone grab her arm who they knew had active parasites. And then she started to develop these, um, these skin issues on her torso and arm. And she actually sought care from another colleague. And she's like, I think I have parasites. Mm -hmm. And her colleague then wanted to refer her for a psychiatric assessment. So the last thing you want to do is show up to a practitioner and say, I think I have worms. <laughs> <laughs> Get the creepy crawlies underneath my skin. That's why it's really important to work with practitioners that really understand this and aren't going to go to the stigmatized route of, oh, it's just in third world countries. So it's really sad for me to see this in a physician going to another physician and saying, I think you need a psychiatric assessment. So that was one of the times that I really was clued into the fact that more attention needs to be placed on this. Also, Morgellons disease is could very well be, it's like skin irritation, acne type of looking pustules on the skin could easily be confused as acne or adult acne. And then someone's placed on Accutane or antibiotics and all these really topical, harsh topical creams when really they could have had better success if they did a parasite cleanse. Um, the other really interesting thing that I noticed myself was when I started to clear them, I actually had visual disturbances. So I was watching a movie and I was seeing flashes on my periphery, which tells me I had central nervous system, uh, likely cysts as well. So being a nurse myself, researching this stuff, I was really noticing absolutely everything. And then about a month after I started the cleanse, I felt like I had started popping limitless. The <laughs> energy that I had was profound, the mental clarity. And the funny thing is you clear the parasites, you clear the toxins, you look at your life completely differently because your brain is working better, which <laughs> then led me to completely transform and transition every aspect of my personal and professional life because I was seeing things more clearly and seeing how I can function in a way that's highest and best supports myself and others. I did very much like the benefits after clearing parasites on my nails. I just cut them recently. So I'm back home here and I got my Gibson Les Paul that's uh, calling <laughs> my name to play guitar, but typically they're quite long. And my nails have never looked healthier. They don't have any ridges. They aren't cracking. They aren't peeling. And even the cuticles are much healthier too. So the impacts that I've seen on my nails from clearing pathogens has been quite remarkable also. That's amazing. I mean, the, the improvements you could get from these things that you just don't think about. And so many people, you're right, suffer from this. 
And I was I was even talking to to uh, somebody over dinner recently and asked, you know, how can you get improvement so quickly by this idea of just detoxifying or changing the inner milieu? And you know, it's 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 because you have things that thrive in different environments, parasites, bacteria, all these pathogens thrive in a disturbed and and unkempt, dirty environment, in a sense. And if you clean that out, you start to see how many changes come about and how good you can feel and how those things are really impacting you. And we all do at one point or another really suffer from those in a sense. So you got to, you know, really be proactive with it. Sounds like you were and you got, you know, such great results from it. 